season eight. Those are nice boots. Thank you, yeah, love. Yeah, season eight. Season eight. Now tell me what's new. I hear that uh, you guys have got to track down a mole. Someone's going to step down. Are we oh, losing? Definitely. We're losing someone. Yeah. Losing a soldier. Yeah. Who's yeah. That, be? You're going to have to watch and see, but uh, you know. Now I, I know. hear this is going to be a pretty explosive season. The first few episodes. High action. Yeah, yeah. Let's we've got a, apparently we have a mole in our uh, in our office somewhere that we're trying to. Uh, we're under investigation because of that. And do you know who the mole is? I just don't yet? know who the mole is. It's got everyone on pins and needles here. Oh. Somebody's a bad guy. And then somebody's going to step down. So we're going to lose this soldier. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. This I don't want to give away any, any any secrets here. Yeah. The team is going to Syria, right? For the team's going to Syria. That's going to be a big uh, action. Scene. Huge action. Yeah. Like more action than. A lot of action we've done, like really? yeah, high-level action, high-level drama. Uh, it's a really interesting. This is going to be a big season I, in terms of the things and twists and turns that the characters go through. At least initially starting off, we haven't seen the whole season in advance, but what we've seen so far has been pretty cool. We've got a high-value target in Syria, so we're uh, Kenzie Deeks, Sam, and I uh, head over there. So Nell and uh, Eric are back home holding down the fort, which is an unusual combination to hold down the fort. But they're going to do the best they can. And of course, Granger and Hetty. Uh -huh. So all the crew's back. How far into it are you, filming-wise? Uh, we're a couple, maybe two, three episodes in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So have you done these big action scenes yet? We have. Any close calls? It's always a close call. <laughs> You're always, fit. I'm not yeah, worried about you. It's always a close You're call. Fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> At the moment, everybody is glued to the Olympics. What, yeah. it, what is your sport of choice? You know, I love the Olympics, but, you know, we've been filming. So I've been doing the Olympics, the NCIS Los Angeles Olympics. Uh -huh. But, um, look, you know, love basketball, love swimming, you know, soccer, you know, gymnastics. Did I mean, you watch I just the love Team USA last night? I didn't see Team USA. I've been working. I really have. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, I'm just happy, you know, for America. And, I, you know, I hope we come home with a lot of gold medals. Is there a particular sport that you're really into? I love watching the beach volleyball. Really? Beach volleyball. We play it, you know, every week down here. I live in Los Angeles. It's my favorite sport. Um, and then, I, you know, I was on the crew team in high school, so I'm always fascinated to see how great they're doing. But last night... You know, oh. my God, the swimming and uh, and the gymnastics. Phelps is unbelievable. Were you, were you cheering him on while you were watching? I was. And the four by, actually, Connor DeWire went to my high school. And he's from my hometown. So I got a root for uh, Connor DeWire. That's awesome. And then you watched the final five in gymnastics? I did the final five, which was amazing. Yeah, that one girl, um, the little one, is yes. she's unbelievable. Yes. She's unbelievable. I guess this is her first Olympics. It is. But she's yeah. Eight, like 18 or something? It's crazy. Yeah. It's